Hi guys, good afternoon, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and I'd like to welcome you back to another edition of my mini-series, How to Get Excited For, where in today's video, I will be giving you tips and suggestions on how to get excited for the upcoming superhero film, Wonder Woman in theaters next week. Uh, critics have early screenings and critics have been giving it uh, high praise and uh, strong reviews. And uh, it sounds like it's a great uh, fresh start and it gives a uh, new life to the DC universe. And uh, let's hope it does because these guys could uh, really use the pick me up. So uh, let me uh, give you some ideas and tips as to how you can get excited for it. For those of you who are wondering, how can I keep myself occupied until this movie comes out? Well, here's some suggestions for you. Now, I know this wasn't everybody's favorite film. In fact, it was probably one of the most polarized films of the last year. I still enjoy it. I can still watch it and enjoy it. And I can certainly uh, understand why and how it is such a flawed movie. And I'm not blind to the fact that it is by no means a perfect film. But it's still watchable for me because I would call it a mediocre film with certain uh, big highlights. You know, uh, big fanboy highlights. But that's just my opinion. So obviously, a great way to get yourself ready for Wonder Woman is by rewatching uh, the latest one of the latest DC films uh, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice where we, we see our first uh, big screen debut of Diana Prince slash Wonder Woman she has a small role in the film but a uh, big role at the same time regardless and uh, I won't go into details for those of you who may have not who may not have seen it yet but some of the highlights of the film definitely are around her character in fact all three of these uh, uh, pretty cool characters and uh, even uh, people who uh, despise this movie said that uh, Gal Gadot's performance was one of the few uh, redeeming things about it at least that's what that's what some of the critics and haters say uh, I thought she did a great job as everybody else did in this movie but obviously this is Wonder Woman's uh, very first cinematic debut and appearances so uh, if you want to re relive that experience watching her come to the big come to life in the big screen once again this is a great way to do that and if you don't want to watch the whole movie just uh, skip or fast forward to the scenes just featuring Wonder Woman and it's as e easy as that you don't have to sit through the whole movie if you don't want to just skip to the parts with Wonder Woman because those are probably the best parts of the movie so uh, keep that on the back of your mind now, if you absolutely cannot stomach watching Batman v Superman again, I totally get that. I understand why. If it's not your cup of tea, that's totally cool. Here are a couple of other options for you. Now, in this case, uh, it, this is a, uh, the whole series is available to watch streaming on Netflix. However, I just happen to have a DVD copy of Justice League. Well, at least the first three episodes of Justice League. This is basically uh, the pilot and the two episodes that followed it. Uh, I believe it's called Origins Part 1, Part 2, Part 3. I just happened to grab this one day in a, a secondhand store that was selling DVDs. I'm like, oh, you know, this is uh, one of my favorite Justice League episodes. And uh, it's basically about how the League comes together. And obviously there's the Trinity right here, Superman, ba uh, Batman, and Wonder Woman herself. And uh, I would recommend the uh, pilot episode and the two episodes that follow it if you want to get in the mood for Wonder Woman because there is a scene in the pilot where we see Wonder Woman and her mother Hippolyta in the land of Themyscira talking about the coming alien invasion and how Wonder Woman believes they should get involved and mankind shouldn't have to fight this war alone but her mother's like uh, forget about mankind what happens beyond our shore is not our concern and, uh, it, it, and then there's a scene where she basically takes uh, some sacred body armor her outfit it, and she leaves Themyscira and uh, goes to uh, join her uh, superhero allies in the battle. And uh, basically, it's got a lot of the same themes and uh, elements that I think we're going to see in the movie. Based on the trailers and the footage that I've seen, you know, it's going to be along those same lines of where, you know, she's been sheltered her whole life on Themyscira, but when she decides to do the right thing and join World War I to help humanity fight this sinister evil, her mother is against it and she decides to leave mascara anyway uh very similar themes uh and plot lines along those lines in the pilot episode for justice league now of course as i said this is just the dvd of the first three episodes but you can watch the entire series streaming 
on Netflix of Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. And uh, if you're familiar with this series, just watch the most uh, Wonder Woman uh, centered uh, episodes where she's the lead character or, uh, you know, just watch the binge watch the whole series. It's a lot of fun. So that's another way you can uh, keep yourself occupied until uh, next Friday when the movie comes out. Uh, another thing you can do, this may seem a bit strange, but I realize that both films, you know, are, you know, they seem similar in terms of like, you know, uh, a good wholehearted uh, character with immense superhuman strength and a clear conscience fighting in one of the world wars and then this movie leading to a bigger ensemble movie watch uh, Captain America the first Avenger because you know a lot of people are saying that there's some similarities between this film and Wonder Woman from the trailers of course we know that she's going to join the allies as they fight um as they fight the European powers in, during World War I, and she's a good, wholesome, uh, you know, uh, clear conscious uh, superhero, as is uh, Captain America, of course, you know, joining the U.S. Al and their allies fighting against a sinister evil, and that seems like uh, what Wonder Woman is going to be doing in her own movie, and much like this film, this movie was like the one of the last Marvel films uh, to uh, happen before the Avengers came out, and with Wonder Woman, this will be one of the last uh, DC solo films we'll see for a while, because after Wonder Woman, later this November, as you you all know we will be getting Justice League. So much like Captain America, the first Avenger uh, was, uh, you know, set up the Avengers. Wonder Woman will probably uh, set up the will probably set up Justice League. Uh, they are saying there is no post credit scene though, so I just want to make that absolutely clear. There most likely will not be a post credit scene for Wonder Woman. When I say set up Justice League, I mean we may see Easter eggs and clues here and there, but no direct link. At least I don't think. But uh, anyway, the point being is that these are two very similar movies. So if you want to get yourself in the mood for a movie where a superhero fights in one of the world wars, watch one, watch this one and then uh, watch Wonder Woman. See which one you like more, which one uh, you like uh uh, if you like uh, both of them just the same. So uh, that's what I would do if I were you guys. I'll probably be watching uh, either the Justice League cartoon series or at least uh, some of the highlights from Batman v Superman in order to get ready. And there is something else you can do to get excited for Wonder Woman. Uh, she was, of course, part of the Fast and Furious franchise for a while, and uh, I would watch one of my personal favorite Fast and Furious films, Fast and Furious Six. Uh, that is uh, that's one of her, that's one of my favorite performances by her, and I think that's uh, her character's like most leading and uh, present roles is in that particular film from the whole franchise. You know, she definitely has a much bigger role in that movie than she did in the previous Fast and Furious films, at least in my opinion. But uh, I really, really enjoyed that uh, Fast and Furious film. And of course, uh, she's great in it. So I would recommend that movie as well. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me for another edition of How to Get Excited For. I hope you found some of my suggestions uh, helpful and uh, if not uh, entertaining as well. If you've got your own ideas and suggestions on how to get excited for Wonder Woman, please feel free to sound off down below in the comments section with your own ideas. I'd love to hear from everybody. Uh, you can disagree with one another, of course. We're all entitled to our own opinions. Just please keep it civil and be respectful and no hostile internet trolling, please. And uh, don't forget that Wonder Woman hits theaters uh, next week, June 2nd. Uh, the World Car Red Carpet premiere was not too long ago, like two days ago uh, in L.A., and uh, early reviews are all saying the same thing. It's a great movie. It's a fun superhero film. And uh, it seems to be getting DC on the right uh, track that it needs to be on. All right, guys. Have a great rest of the day if I don't see you again this weekend. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one as we get prepared and uh, excited for more upcoming summer blockbusters. And, uh, of course, until next time, may the force be with you.